Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger, and in this lecture, well, I am going to talk about one of the most important innovations in the evolution of vertebrate animals. Something that would profoundly change the life cycle of terrestrial vertebrates and facilitate the evolution of land living animals, such as mammals and reptiles, dinosaurs and birds. And I have that innovation right here in my pocket. It's the egg, a waterproof hard shell encased nursery for the development of embryos on land. Now the fossil record of eggs and eggshell extends back into the Triassic period with a growing extensive record of fossil uh, dinosaur, bird, turtle, and crocodilian eggs during the Mesozoic and Cenozoic. Although the origin of the egg likely extended even further back in time during the Permian with the origin of the amniote reptiles. These hard-shelled eggs are called ambiotic or cleidotic eggs because for the most part they are non-porous with the outside dry world. The egg is encased in a semi-permeable shell formed from calcium carbonate, which retain all the moisture to the inside of the egg, while allowing limited movement of oxygen and carbon dioxide gases to the atmosphere. Now below the hard shell is a series of extra embryonic membranes. The chorion, or outer membranes, the amion, or inner membrane, and elantos, a waste holding sac for the developing embryo. The embryo itself is attached to the yolk, which is the only source of food for the growing embryo. And in unfertilized eggs, such as this one, it's food for me to eat. The surrounding egg white, or albium, is a protein-filled cavity that helps support the de developing embryo as it grows. The innovation of the ambionic egg allowed the earliest reptiles to move further away from the water, venturing into the more dry deserts and exploiting fossil resources, such as insects and plants, as well as other vertebrates that had begun to venture further from the shorelines of rivers, ponds, and lakes. The Pennsylvanian and Permian periods were also a time of extreme weather and a major shift from the wet tropical climates of the early Carboniferous to the harsh, dry, and monsoonal climates of the Pangean world that was forming during the uh, Permian period and which would usher in destruction with a major mass extinction at the end of the Paleozoic. The egg was essential for the continued survival of reptiles into the Mesozoic. All right, be sure to diagram the parts of the cleotic or ambionic egg. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjamin Links are found in the description below.